What's up, everybody? Oh! Nose is peeling from a little Florida sunshine. Sunburn's starting to die down a little bit. It's a gloomy. What's up, Brandon? Excited to see you guys back in the office. Brandon is so first week, second week. Brandon uh, with Dave in our on market um, department puts together one deal for eight properties. Talk about having an impact. Um, that's awesome, man. Uh, I was so excited when you guys sent me that message. We we did eight deals with one seller. That's not easy. Um, but anyway, man, we got a dozen people in there already. I better get to it. Um, I'm out here watching, like, so check this out. I'm out here watching, um, uh, my son. Um, you guys can see what's going on over there. Um, there's a group of boys. They're all about, I don't know, 12 to 16 years old, 13 to 16 years old. Uh, it's 11 o'clock on a Sunday. Lots and lots and lots of kids this age um, are relaxing. They're enjoying their extended uh, time off, the weekend, Memorial Day weekend. You got every reason to be lazy today. And, uh, you know, I've watched my son Camden. I've been, you know, posting pictures of him of and stuff. And um, here he is today out doing some quarterback skill work. And I was talking to him yesterday, and he's, he's put on like 10, 15 pounds of muscle. Um, he's gotten really fit. Um, he's, 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 while he's built muscle, he's, he's, he's reduced his body fat. He's in great shape. He's super strong. He's fit, and he's healthy. And um, I was talking to him yesterday, and, um, you know, he, he was telling me about how people asked him, you know, all these questions about how did you lose weight, and how are you getting so strong, and... Um, you know, what are your plans to, you know, to, to, to get ready for the football season? He was like, man, I just eat good. I exercise every day and I practice. And it was, it was eye opening for me because I think so often we, we have a tendency to, to overcomplicate things. And there's a saying, <clears throat> a good friend of mine, Gary Harper, who I quote a lot, uses this quote all the time. And there's a, I guess it's, it's called an acronym for it, right? It's called KISS. Stands for K-I-S-S -S, or keep it simple, stupid. And I think the, the you know, the, the, the stupid part is for effect. It's, it's to, to put into perspective um, for people to, to just not allow their, you know, their, the, the, for them to get in their own way. And... So often, I think, as people, we overcomplicate things. I mean, you know, using these boys as an example, there's five, six boys out here working. They got up out of bed. They asked their parents to give them a ride. Their parents are paying, you know, for, for this lesson, but they're just out here working. I mean, you know, whether you are working by yourself, whether you're you know, going to a park and, and playing basketball five on five with a group of friends, or you're going out, um, you know, and playing uh, three on three flag or, or touch uh, football, or you're going to the park and shooting by yourself, um, or you're listening to a podcast, or you're reading a book, or whatever. Like personal development, whether it's in relationships, whether it's, um, you know, our, our career paths, um, personal relationships, whatever, are really simple. And, you know, this is an example. Again, look, here's, there's one, two, three, four, five kids out here that have all taken the opportunity um, to get out and improve themselves. There's Cam in the red shirt, right? So Cam has taken, you know, a lot of responsibility over the last 60 days to really, really work on himself. Um... I mean, the kid does meditation, he's, he's lifting weights, he's on a, a very strict diet. Um, and at, as a result, when this football season rolls around, he's going to be in a better position to, to win 
a starting role on the football team. He's going to be in a better position to be successful. He's going to put his team in a better position to be successful because as a quarterback, which I, I believe will be the position that he plays this year, um, I mean, just look at this rep. Like, if I was watching just how quick his feet have gotten, um, and this isn't by accident. I mean, he has, he has literally been at this and working at it for two straight months, ever since um, the lockdown and then as AAU, um, you know, basketball became more and more clear um, that it probably wasn't going to come back, Camden made the decision to work on his football. So the only reason I bring this up is not to talk about him. It's, it's, a, it's a, an example of the simplicity um, of something um, that's being executed by right now 14 to 16 year old boys. Um, they took it upon themselves to come out. And this is this group here, the, these group of boys are always working. Um, that's Coach Shannon Valenti. Um, he's a very skilled quarterback instructor. And uh, he works with probably a dozen or so uh, young athletes, uh, most of which want to want to work on being a quarterback. And it, it, it puts it into perspective. And, uh, you know, I always do these videos. I'm not on here to tell anybody how to live their life. I'm not on here to, to, to claim to be an expert. Um, oftentimes I do these videos for me as a reminder, um, for me to say out loud things that I believe in my mind. Cause for me, it just always makes it, um, easier. Let's watch Cam do a rep here. So you can see he's working on footwork stuff. Um, but they're out there working. So I guess my point is, um, and this will be a short video is, is to just keep it simple, stupid. Don't overcomplicate things. Like, listen, if you're looking at relationships and, and whether they're personal or professional, I mean, if, if you do two simple things, if you're, if you're just kind to people, um, uh, you know, you're a good listener and you're honest, I don't, I mean, I don't think you could really struggle with a personal relationship. Now you might have baggage or, you know, burned a bridge or something that make it more challenging, but generally, um, in any relationship, whether it's personal or professional, if you're generally just kind to people and you're honest, um, you're going to have a good relationship. It's the same at home, whether it's with your kids, uh, or your spouse or loved one, whatever you want to call it, be kind and be honest and be truthful. If you combine those two things, most relationships will thrive. Um, you know, so don't don't overcomplicate it. Don't try and figure out what the other person's thinking. Don't try and play mental games that if I do this, they'll do this, and then I'll get what I want. Like, like honestly, just just be kind and, and be truthful. And I think you'll see that personal and professional relationships with friends um, will really start to improve. So just keep it simple. Um, you know, K I S S keep it simple, stupid. If you want to get better at something, I mean, especially in today's environment, there is so much information out there that's made available to you. Whether you want to get into, you know, the construction business, whether you're trying to learn how to invest in real estate or you want to open a franchise or you want to do, you know, uh, hairstyle or, or landscaping or whatever. I mean, there is literally an unlimited amount of information out there to help you and coach you and teach you how to do something. You just got to be willing to, to carve out enough time in your day, make it important enough that you do it. So like, if you want to get better at something like just work on self-improvement, um, and I'm not even talking about, you know, a, a particular career, like as a, as a, a, a core value, um, or a, you know, moral of, 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 of your own, you should make personal improvement a standard, meaning simply that you are always looking to improve. Um, one of the ways I've been able to, I think, become um, more of a pure person, um, it's really helped me make challenging decisions and I think grow as a person has been my willingness um, to listen my willingness to ask people for advice, my willingness to, to challenge things and ask questions, um, even of things that I believe that I knew of myself. Um, and a lot of that just comes down to reading books or listening to books. Um, I've learned so much in the last two years that I've started 
reading and and I'm able to even take such a really small percentage of that and act on it and I feel like it's really 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 helped me with business with parenting um, with friendships um, with employees and team members which when you talk about running a business the people um, is not only the most rewarding part uh, but it is the most challenging part because everyone's different right where if you build something um, or you manufacture something, like every deck you built can be done the same way. Um, every car you work on can be done the same way, but every person cannot be treated the same way. So as a business owner and an entrepreneur and a leader of people, you need to have the awareness of being able to constantly make adjustments um, you know, to, to, to how you interact with people um, because every person would be motivated differently. But my point is, is that I've only become, I believe, even a little good at that because of my willingness to commit to self-improvement. So if you want to improve relationships, keep it simple. Be, uh, you know, kind and truthful. And as you look to, to evolve and develop as a professional, that means make more money, um, get a raise, improve, whatever the case might be, um, just commit to personal improvement, um, which a lot of times will just add up and I think stack up for, for most people as um, learning, some type of learning. Um, and there's a thousand different ways you can do that. So I'm going to go back to watching um, football and uh, I hope everybody, what's up Baker? I see you buddy. Hope you guys have a good holiday. Enjoy yourself and um, uh, everybody enjoy the extra day off tomorrow for Memorial Day. And don't forget the reason behind the season. Um, fly them American flags. We put one outside our house just now and three outside the office the other day. And uh, um, it feels good. Um, this is a great time to be patriotic and stand up for what we believe in and help this country recover from an extraordinary set of circumstances. But uh, everybody have a good Sunday. Um, get ready for your, your extra day off tomorrow and enjoy it. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. I hope you all have a great holiday. I'll see you.